feel like there is still maybe some beef between you and Masika um, that I guess maybe trickled from last season. Is there some, I saw some things on social media. Is there still an issue or? Um, I think Mansika has an issue with maybe me. It must stem from jealousy because she's not in the job that she wanted to be, but you know, she had made a comment about, oh, the show is so boring, snoozer alert, I'm asleep, and then my whole point is like, but you still watching though, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, why say the comment if you don't really expect, you know, want the answer? Right. Like, I'm not going to let nobody come for me or the franchise or my job, whether I want to be a part of it or not. It's just, you're not going to throw that shade and get away with it. Gotcha. Okay, moving on to something more positive. Rumor has it you're booed up. You have a man, Cat Williams. Ooh. Is that the truth? Is that or did I make that up? You didn't make it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How did you two meet? How did we meet? Um, well, he's watched me on TV, and he had a little crush, and he arranged for us to meet, and we met, and I never left the side. Okay. Um, you two are still together. Yes. Okay. But did you break up before? Yes. Mm. Why? Because I be mad. <laughs> I okay. I my feelings sometimes, you know what I'm okay. saying? But he's solid, and I'm just thankful for him. What do you love most about him? I love most about him. I love the way that he makes me feel like he lets me know that I'm a bad bitch. Um, he lets me know that my value is way up here, and, you know, it's just that confidence of someone assuring you like no you look good you this you worth this he upgraded the whole entire life like no you deserve to be living here driving this wearing this having this and he didn't just talk the talk he did it in action and no man has ever approached me the way that cat did and i'm loyal <laughs> okay um what does he feel how does he feel about you doing the show love it hip-hop hollywood Because in my mind, he I would think he may have some issues. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not doing the show no more. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not a fan. Mm -hmm. he, would, he would be a fan if you had your own show or if it was... What part so. is he not really a fan of? Um, I think that he doesn't like just the treatment, the, 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 the disrespect or the, the storylines. Like he didn't... He couldn't stand to watch me getting that drink thrown in my face. But I won't let him get another lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? So... If I'm his queen, he wants to protect it. And when I go out to film the show, he doesn't feel like I'm all the way covered. And, you know, he don't want nobody to touch his queen. And he's just protective of me. You protect what you love and he protects me. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Now what, um, and you sort of mentioned it earlier, what else do you have going on besides Love & Hip Hop Hollywood? I mean, at Love & Hip Hop Hollywood is one of the many things that I do. I um, have my company Girl Code Inc., which is a new branding and marketing firm. Um, you know, I had a pass as a publicist, but going forward, I don't want to make people famous, but I do want to help launch brands. Like, there's a photographer that I love, so I want to help him book more jobs. There's a makeup artist that I'm a fan of that I think, you know, with my expertise and getting her some more celebrity place placements and raising her rate and constantly keeping her book. There's a dessert company, Sweet Serenity Desserts, with the Diamond Strawberries that I've been working with her for years, so I want to go ahead and manage her and take her brand to the next level. In addition to that, we just dropped my single, No Chill, um, on the episode Monday. So we got that single out. And I have one coming with Jeremiah called Say So that's about to be crazy. Okay. So, so you have a lot going on. A lot, for sure. I mean, I'm a businesswoman. I'm a businessman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, you always got to keep different things in the kitchen cooking. So just in case one thing don't crack, then you got another one going over here. You can't just stay, like, tunnel vision. If not, you'll get stuck. And that's the one thing I'm not trying to do is get stuck in this platform and people think I'm one dimensional because I'm not so okay you know I'm a hard working woman and uh and I think the world will still see more of Hazel